GitLab is a complete DevOps platform, delivered as a single application. This makes GitLab unique and makes concurrent DevOps possible, unlocking your organization from the constraints of a pieced together toolchain. GitLab started as an open source project to help teams collaborate on software development. By delivering new functionality at an industry-leading pace, GitLab now provides a single application for the entire software development and operations lifecycle. GitLab provides everything you need to manage, plan, create, verify, package, release, configure, monitor, and secure your applications. The GitLab Docker images are monolithic images of GitLab running all the necessary services on a single container. In the following examples we are using the image of GitLab CE. To use GitLab EE instead of GitLab CE, replace the image name to GitLab, GitLab EE, latest. If you want to use the latest RC image, use GitLab, GitLab CE, RC or GitLab, GitLab EE, RC for GitLab CE and GitLab EE respectively. The GitLab Docker images can be run in multiple ways. Run the image in Docker Engine, install GitLab into a cluster or install GitLab using Docker Compose. In this tutorial we are going to use, run the image in Docker Engine way. And we are going to use play with docker to accomplish the installation. If you don't know about play with docker, link is in description. This will download and start a GitLab CE container and publish ports needed to access SSH, HTTP and HTTPS. All GitLab data will be stored as subdirectories of SRV GitLab. The container will automatically restart after a system reboot. After starting a container you can visit http colon slash slash localhost slash or http colon slash slash 192.168.59.103 if you use boot to docker. It might take a while before the docker container starts to respond to queries. The very first time you visit GitLab, you will be asked to set up the admin password. After you change it, you can log in with username root and the password you set up. Now, let's us see how to install GitLab using Docker. Go terminal full screen using your keyboard shortcut, or plus enter. Now let's us install GitLab CE by using its Docker image as shown here.
port 22 might be in used, you can change to anything fancy. Note, the initialization process may take a long time. You can track this process with the command sudo dockerlogs f gitlab 3 for our case. You can still use your local Docker engine to install GitLab, but for case of this tutorial, we use Play with Docker. As you can see, our GitLab application is up and running and we can access it through these ports shown here. Now you need to create admin account by giving the password. If you see this, it means you have installed GitLab successfully, you can now do the same on your local Docker engine. And as you can see it, it is very simple to install GitLab using Docker compared to its manually way installation.
I hope you have learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more videos. Links on description. Happy learning.